incompatible locks have to wait. You'll be asked questions on the certification tests. How long will they wait? Forever, if possible. Because we don't know how long a job's going to take. You have to wait patiently. Here you can see an alter statement. That has put an exclusive lock on this particular table. Nobody gets in there until this major surgery is done, not even if you have an access lock. So you will wait forever. Behind that, we have an update statement. That's behind it in the queue. That waits until it's done. Incompatible locks must wait patiently. There's a possibility that you could see a checksum lock. Not very often. This is only going to be seen in embedded SQL or stored procedures. Here's another crazy lock you could see, and you might be confused by this. It says, locking row for access, no weight. What do you think no weight means? Most of the time I ask that question, they go, you know, you don't feel like waiting, you want to go to the front of the movie line. And I go, that's not what it means. What it means is, no wait says, if I go to query this and I have to wait in line, I want you to abort the query. Now, this might be great if you're going to an ATM. If you ever go to an ATM, you put your card in and they come back and they go, they're loading the money now. That might not be the case. There might be other reasons they're inserting or updating or deleting. They are not going to have you wait at that ATM for like 25 minutes. So that's an idea where you can actually say, no wait, the transaction either happens or I need some type of error message immediately. For you users out there who have a Nexus Query Chameleon as your query tool, as you can see at the top, there is a locking for access button. When you press that, Every query you write will have a locking for access on it if it's possible without you doing anything. For you DBAs out there, you can use Viewpoint to look at the lock viewer so you can actually see what tables are being locked and other queries that are being blocked by those locks. In Viewpoint, the lock viewer will actually allow you to configure the information that you want to see in the lock viewer. In your Teradata environment, you'll often hear the word HUT lock. This is not the locks we've been talking about. That's a host utility lock. And that means someone is doing a fast load, a multi load. They're doing an archive and a restore. These are utility locks, and those are different than normal locks. This chapter was all about locking, and one of the things that probably surprised you was the fact that you're placed in a pseudo table, and that's the cue to access a table. One thing I want you to understand about that, if you use the primary index in the SQL WHERE clause, that is a single AMP retrieve. You still have to follow locking rules, but you're never placed in the queue because it's going to be a one second query. So remember, pseudo tables are only associated with queries that are all AMP queries. Mm -hmm.